Electoral Commission has set an eight-day period for applicants who were able to register for their voter ID cards to make their way to the exhibition centers where they acquired their cards. We are here at the Jowulu High School in the Ayawaso West constituency where an exhibition center is being placed here. So before we move to other registration centers, we we'll speak to an exhibition official. Her name is Pamela, and she'll take us through the process so far. So far for my center, just two people. Okay, so when the applicants come, I'm supposed to take the voter's ID card. The, he or she will first sanitize the hand. So I'll take the card, and then I'll look for, I'll check the code, the polling station code first. I'll check his picture too, whether it's the same as what's in the provisional register. So I look for the name, the surname first, in the name reference list, and then I'll check the provisional voters register. So when his name is correct, I'll just take in the voters register. Um, the total number should be 865, okay. yes, yes, for my center. Uh, we, are, we are expecting about 637 people, but so far only two people have um, come around. Yeah, only Did you say people. that's a low turnout? Uh, today being the first day, I can't. At least by the close of the day, we can know whether it's a low turnout or not. Yeah, but at least it's been over two hours now and just two people. I don't, I don't think it's so encouraging though. When someone comes, we first sanitize the hand, as you're saying, and then we take the card. And then we make sure this is where the person registered before we take the person through the process. So we check from our, we have two registers here. We check from the first one. If the name is there, and then we check from the main one, and then we just check. Okay, and that's one of it. And the other is if the person has a problem on the card that he wants to change a name or whatever, we also have another process we take the person through. Yeah, so that's what yeah. You know, people come with um, different age. They've got the ages wrong, their names wrongly spelled. Some males were made females. Uh -huh. So we have a form for them that we fill, so they will take it back to the office because it has to appear on the, yes, on the, on the card. No, it's a morning, nothing. Yeah. So because of the COVID, we wouldn't allow the person to remove their marks if he's the one coming with the card. But assuming he was coming to check on behalf of someone, now and they will let him take on the marks to clarify. But since we know that he's the one and it's his own card, you can just clarify with the card to, to limit the COVID spread. So then we allow the applicants to also have a look, check his sex, his age and then his name. It's correct. Everything is correct. Yes. And when he agrees that it is correct, we pick our pen and then we check and then we give the card back. The icon on the phone. And then you enter the recipient's number. 1422. Two. And then you come to the create message side. And then you enter the voter ID identification number. It is usually the longest number on the ID card. Six, three, nine, seven, hundred, So please, when, when you send, it will give all your information on how, just how it is on your card without the picture. So the name, the voter ID, the age, the gender, the polling station code, the polling station name, the district, and then the region. And how's the process so far for you? Actually, it's not bad. It's okay. okay. It's, it's a good thing that EC is doing. Okay. But yeah. when you came here, you is your... Yeah, my name was in... In, in there? Yeah. Okay. Today is the first day, and I know people have gone to work, so definitely after work, most of them will come. Okay. Some... People will not be you know, comfortable with their short code checking online, but if they come personally and check it, you know, for them to be sure of having their names in the book, why not? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll find my name. Okay. The minute that I call now, I'll find my name inside. Okay. Uh, but how was the process for you so far? Well, it was a very easy crowd. Very easy. Right. Uh, in terms of um, COVID-19, did, did you sanitize your hand? Yeah, I sanitized my hand. I washed my hand. I sanitized my hand. Everything is okay, okay. yeah. Right. Yeah. But um, the EC has a short code where you can check your make, to make sure that your name is in the provisional result. Did you check that before coming? No, I thought that one, I didn't check it. Okay. Yeah. But you wanted to make sure your name is in the Yeah, yeah, yeah. The COVID-19 ambassador simply means how you know the COVID has come to stay with us and all of us are putting in measures so that we will be free from it. So during the exercise, we have to, my duty is to make sure they wash their hands, 
put on their nose masks, and then we also sanitize their hands so that they move on to the next table. So I know you have done this for eight days, right? Yeah. What, what do you seek to achieve at the end of these eight days? Oh, we, we want a lot of people to come, to come and check, because so far we've, we've corrected two people, their name, one was uh, a male and they wrote female name. So it's good to come and check and make sure your name is in and know your center, know where you are voting as well. So we've been to four centers here in the Jowli area of the Ayawaso West constituency where applicants are expected to be trooping here to ensure that their names are in the provisional voter register ahead of the 2020 elections. So far, as at the time of our visits, we realized that there's been low turnout in some of these centers, but COVID-19 safety protocols are being adhered to. We spoke to some COVID-19 ambassadors who are also ensuring that the applicants are all adhering to the safety protocols as of this time. My name is Maoli Aholimega, reporting for Ghana Web.